2022 has been a pretty good year for the Suns and yourself. How's it all travelling? Yeah, I think things has been going all right. Yeah, we've been winning, winning more games than, than I guess the last couple of years. And oh, we had a big push to play finals and I, you know, we're still hopeful to play finals and things like that. But um, yeah, look, the boys are starting to play enough games together to get to, to understand each other's you know style of play and things like that. And, and even Stewie, like just... You know, playing under him, having the same group playing under him for a number of years now is, um, I think that's what you need. Just boys to stick together and and you know have experience together. I think that's what we've we've kind of come to now. So yeah, yeah, it seems amazing. It seems like the whole club's just enjoying their football this season. Um, could you pinpoint anything that's changed in the last sort of six to twelve months at the footy club? Um, oh, I can't really say anything. Really, has changed. I guess we've been just chipping away at the. At the basics, and you know, we've had a pl- we set up a plan, you know, four or five year plan, and we've kind of just stuck to that for the last few years. And yeah, I don't think we've changed too much. I think the boys have just gotten to work, and and like I said, the more experience we have together, you know, the more chance we're going to you know put ourselves up for winning games and and just understand each other's style of play and things like that. So yeah, we've had a plan, and we've just been chipping away at it. I think this season you're only two or maybe three wins away from being the most successful Gold Coast team like throughout a season is that something that motivates you guys along with potentially playing finals for the first time yeah for sure I think I think yeah being the first to do anything you know the inaugural um kind of side to 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 even push to make finals and things like that is, is pretty it's pretty cool and something that stands out for us and we do have little little chats in that and that it would be pretty cool to be the first to you know make finals so yeah that, that definitely does motivate us and um yeah, we'd love to play finals. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, that's awesome. It's it's awesome to watch uh, you boys go about it. Such a young, exciting side. Um, how does your heart rate go in close finishes, though? Because Gold Coast have had two or three really close games in, in the, like the last sort of four or five, six weeks. Um, so how do you go when it's going down to the wire? Are you boys starting to get um, quite familiar in that situation, especially? You know, I, I guess it's sort of built into Noah Anderson um, winning the game off his own boot, but that sort of came about off a couple of close losses. So, yeah, how yeah, do you boys yeah. go in, in that situation? Yeah, like you just said, I guess we've we've had so many close games, even like even last year and um, the year before that, a lot of tight games. And I think, like I just said before, the experience and being in those close games, um, you then know what to do with you know two minutes on the line. And um, yeah, Noah's Noah's. You know, match winning goal after the sign. <laughs> Obviously, I actually didn't play. I was at home just screaming my head off. <laughs> I, actually, I was filming myself just going off. So, um, <laughs> yeah, that was pretty special for Noel to be able to do that um, against the Tigers and especially the week before that against Collingwood, um, losing the last two minutes. Um, yeah, like I said, playing those tight games, we, we're eventually going to have to start winning those. And, and um, yeah, Noel got us over the line with the, with the match winner. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. That was amazing. The scenes at Metricon were going bananas, and um, it, it really, it really feels like you guys are edging closer to you know. You pinch a couple of those games, and you're in the eight. Um, how excited are you by the improvement in in the side at the minute? Yeah, I think that's the most frustrating thing for me is just knowing that if we do win those tight games, then we're probably up. We're probably in the top eight, sort of thing. So, um, yeah, I'm I'm just really pumped I guess for the for the future and just just to actually start winning those close games and starting the first half off and then finishing the second half and really making a big push for finals so we've been in so many tight games and I really we just really want to start winning one of those tight games yeah for sure the title turn um and yeah it's as I said it's just so exciting to see you boys go about it especially yourself you're one of the most exciting footballers in the competition and you've put together a really consistent season so far um how are you feeling about your footy this year yeah no I'm pretty confident I obviously had a few you know stump performances last year and even early on this year um but yeah like I found some consistency just got back to basics and really starting to enjoy my footy is the main thing for me. Uh, like you could put structures and you know give me all these things, but if I'm not having fun, then I probably won't play to, to the best I can play. So yeah, I just really go back to having fun, you know, talking a bit of smack to my teammates and even the opposition and things like that. So <laughs> I really enjoy that side of footy, just being a bit of a smart ass and and just you know being cheeky and making the gun make, making the game fun, even just around training, around the training rooms and stuff like that. That's the type of person that I am. 
So yeah, as long as I'm enjoying my footy, I'm gonna be you know entertaining the crowd and playing my best footy. Yeah, that's unreal to hear. Um, and as, as, especially like at the moment, like Jack Ginnivan's in the headlines uh, for for sort of. Uh, the way he plays his footy, um, you know, uh, he, he sort of, it, it seems like he, he pressures a lot of the, the defenders, he gets into them, he has a bit of banter, and that seems to bring the best out of himself. So is that something that brings the best out of yourself with your football? Yeah, I think, yeah, pretty similar, I guess. Um, the more pressure, um, you know, if it's a one-on-one contest, then um, in my head, I believe I'm going to win those kind of contests. And yeah, I guess it's having fun and being cheeky and Similar to the Jack, just you know, giving a bit to the crowd and stuff like that. That that just really really gets me going. And especially when you kick, if you if you're giving it to the crowd, and then you kick a nice goal, and you, you really just back your back your talk up. That's like the best feeling. So yeah, no, nah, it's pretty, it's 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 pretty cool. No, nah, that that's awesome. It, it's confidence that I am very envious of because I I love the way yourself and and a lot of the the younger players go about it these days. They seem pretty confident um, from the word go in the AFL and I want to bring up your first game because I'm a massive Melbourne supporter absolute Melbourne nuffy and <laughs> you debuted against the D's and I it, it was a bit of a weird time where I thought we were going to have a better year than what we did in 2020 uh, we'd struggled in the first few games we came up against the Gold Coast Suns who were in really good form and pinched a couple of good wins earlier in the season and then yourself had debuted and I was watching going we're not going to win because of Isaac Rankin is playing in this game. You tore the game to shreds and almost got the Suns over the line. So can you talk us through your debut performance? Yeah, look, um, obviously coming off, I guess, a year and a half out of footy, just with my hamstrings and stuff like that. And I think going into that game, there was literally no pressure. Like there was just, just go out there mm. ranks and, and just play footy, just get a feel, touch a feel sort of thing. Um, played a couple of games in the twos and I was kind of ready by then. So when I came out there and you know had the ball in my hands and stuff, I just in my head I'm kicking, I'm gonna kick this goal sort of thing, and came off the boot and went through, and then it just rolled on from that. Kept getting to the right spots and it kept going through, and I just, yeah, it was it was a pretty it was it was pretty much a dream kind of debut for me. Didn't really expect to go out there and do that, but you know if you put yourself in the right spots, then you give your chances chance to do that, and yeah, it was actually a pretty close game and. Yeah, I thought we were going to get over the line, but you, you, you just got us in the end. So, um, yeah, I was disappointed with the result, yeah. but yeah, that was, it was a good game. I was convinced that you were going to pinch the game off off the Ds. Um, anytime you went near it, it was it was mesmerising. Um, your, I think Anthony Hudson, uh, Hutto, the commentator, said this is the f- the best first two goals in football. So I want to talk through the first one in particular. Um, that sidestep that you did on James Harms, you sent him into the sixth row. Like he got sent <laughs> sent flying and then you turn around and snap it. And then the second goal was a soccer off the ground through traffic. Um, could you believe some of the snags you were kicking early on in your career? Uh, yeah, I think to be honest, like, <laughs> yes, in the, in the um, under 18 championships and even just growing up, those are the type of goals that I just went for, sort of thing, because I just really enjoyed watching, you know, Sirioli, um, Eddie Betts, all those really, you know, tough small forwards that do the spectacular. And I think, yeah, I just always watched them type of players, and and I was pretty confident with those kind of shots. And yeah, like I said, as soon as I got the ball, I kind of knew where the goals were, and yeah, gave it a step and a and a, and a snap, and then a one off the floor. That was pretty. <laughs> that was just pretty. So honest, to be honest, like I just put a, I just put a foot to it. Um, we kicked it, and I remember Steve May was just like, <laughs> and then, <laughs> we didn't say anything. But he was kind of like, Whoa. so yeah, I was pretty happy with that. That that went through, and um, yeah, I've had a couple more since.